Hey gorgeous and welcome back to Hide My Identity. I'm Nalo Ifoma, your host. Today we have two interesting stories to talk about. Um, one is about a lady whose husband asked her to stop exercising and the woman from the picture is quite fat. And another story which is quite, I wouldn't say this, this is not hilarious, is about a woman whose husband um, is quite currently sick and he desires he needs a kidney someone to give him kidney and his wife was the perfect match and when she was about going for the kidney surgery transplant to give to her husband she discovered something very ridiculous strange and weird and this led her in so much pain and these are two stories we'll be diving into today all of these things will be coming on on today's episode of Hide My Identity. Stay tuned. Hey, analytics has shown that a greater percentage of people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channels. And some who are subscribed do not turn their notification bell on. I am just urging you to please do well to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, make sure you share your thoughts in the comment section and also share them. This way, YouTube will be able to take it to the larger audience and let people know that hmm, there is something you know powerful happening on this channel. Thank you. Welcome back. Let's go straight to read the first story. This lady said, Hey, my fellow fit fam, please help me talk about this. My husband said I should stay off exercise and he didn't have any reasonable answer to why I should stay off exercise. So I told him to either choose marriage or allow me to do my exercise because I can't quit it. I love exercising. And from the picture she sent here, she posted, she looked quite chubby. I remember the day, you know, when I started adding weight, I started feeling heavier and I really did not like the way I felt. I hate feeling heavy. I hate the concept of me like being heavy. So whenever I start feeling heavy, I feel like that's a point I really need to like work out the more. Now, in I could really, I can really relate to what she's saying, though I'm not as fat as she is, like she's quite chubby. Uh, but why would your man not want you to exercise? Now, there are some people who really like chubby wives like when my husband and i first got married b was like that i look slim i should add weight that he really you know not that he has an issue with the way i look right but you know he likes his wife looking adding weights i'm like guys see i know they do the way i really want to be a bandy director i want to be like very slim you know slim feet i really want to like maintain my and uh, my slim nature but marriage happened. Someone posted something on Facebook one day. He was like, why is it that women, once they get married, boom, everybody, they begin to add weight. And that was the same thing that happened to me. So I can't really tell why I added some weight. Well, I did not add so much before I got married. I was weighing, um, I was weighing 75 and now I'm dangling between 78 and 80, 78 and 80. So I didn't really add so much. So as to speak now, I am currently 79, 79. So I'm dangling 79 and 80. And I, sometimes I begin to feel heavy. And once I begin to have that feeling of heaviness, I do the best I can to just work out, which I normally do work out. Now, the advice I personally have for this lady is I felt, and from what people also commented in the comment section, I felt the way she really talked to her husband was kind of disrespectful and rude. Um, you can actually tell him what you want, that you're not really, just make him understand why you need to lose weight. You feel heavy. You don't really like the way you feel. And um, instead of making him say, oh, that he should choose between being married and you losing weight. You can't equate these two things. It doesn't really make sense at all. So I feel the way she responded to him is wrong. She should definitely apologize to him. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry that um, you don't like me losing weight. You want me to stay chubby. I'm sorry that I even spoke with you. But when he leaves the house, nah, walk out. Because you need to keep fit. Being fat is sickness. It's not healthy. It tells on your overall health, especially as a woman. Our bodies are not meant to, to store so much fat. So your man has a reason, as an ebotic man he is, may have his reason why he doesn't want you to work out. But as a woman who knows what you want, the kind of body goal, for me, I have my body goal, the body goal you have for yourself. And because you really have a responsibility to, to take care of this body that God has given to you, allow him to just be like, apologize for the way you spoke to him, number one. And number two is, tell him, okay, you've heard what he said. When he leaves for work, girl, you go and walk out. <laughs> I know it's a bad advice, but that's just a real 
advice you need. You must stay healthy regardless of being married. But the way you spoke to him was wrong. And now we are moving on to the second story, which will leave you feeling so heartbroken. She said, I'm in so much pain. What should I do? My marriage is 20 years and we only have three beautiful girls. His family are the type that believe a male child is more important and is a must have. So I feel terrible that I haven't given my husband a male child. He assures me that he is okay without a male child. Hobby falls ill and cr critically require a kidney transplant or he would die. And I turn out to be a match because I love him. I decide I would donate my other kidney to him. One day, in preparation to go to the hospital for surgery, I was getting all the paperwork sorted out. I came across my husband's will. And I went through it and I found out that my husband has three boys with one woman like that and he left 90% of his wealth for those boys and their mother and only leaving 10% for my girls and me. Please, what should I do? Before I go on to start reading the comments of what people posted in this under this particular story, I would like to hear what you think. What, what do you think as a child of God? <laughs> Heaven is the goal, but what do you think she should do? Now, let me go down and start reading some of the comments. And, I, um, and I'm very honest with you that the comments I'm going to be reading here, um, the answers I have for her, what I feel she should do. Every comment I'm going to be reading here is what I feel she should do. Number one says, it's really painful, my dear. You need to miss that appointment. Stay alive for your girls and focus your energy on taking from him um, now to acquire things for them and yourself. If you have something doing, focus on it and look for ways to make more profit because you know you can't rely on your husband again. But God, so my sister, he doesn't deserve your kidney. The second person said, except he want to change the wheel to 80% for me and my girls and 20% to his second family, which he never told me about, then I'm good. If not, let his will receive us, save him. The third person said, um, let the woman donate her kidney now. I be not only will give them let her contribute her kidney to <laughs> another person just commented hmm may his soul rest in peace be that which means this one has made up her mind that she's not donating any of her kidneys then the next person be like new negotiation liquidate your assets and move 90 percent to me immediately then you can have my kidneys the next person said is the 10 percent valuable if yes move on with your girls if no Two, still move on and build your life with your girls, but you can build well if you have two healthy kidneys. Cheers to your beautiful life ahead. Another person said, let him use his money to buy a kidney. Keep yours. The other person said, RIP, please, wicked soul. And that person said, you see that kidney you wanted to donate to him? Just sell it and you will have a good amount of money. Buy a small piece of land for your girls. And the comments kept on pouring in. Someone else says, um... If I'm in your shoe, I would donate my kidney to him, but on one condition that he would change the wheel. 90% of his wealth will be mine and my girls, and while 10% will be for the other woman and his boys. I think, um, and her boys, I think the, the comments here are quite fair, you know, quite reasonable. People are still, you know, being quite reasonable that this man has a whole different family outside. And he gave 90% of his will to this different family outside. She has three girls. The outer family has three boys. And you were living your life in a lie. And when it was time to, you fell sick now. It is not the one with a good kidney that you left 10%. Only 10% of your wealth, your will to. You want to collect her kidney joy. Brother, is that no wickedness? And just let me know your thoughts in the comment section anyways. For anyone who is thinking, oh, Oma, what do you think about this situation? I know a lot of you are expecting to come out from my mouth. Well, the Bible talked about forgiveness and all of that. And the Bible never said forgive and forget. The Bible only talked about forgive, you know, forgiving. When you're able to forgive, you'll be able to let go. It will help you to build strength and know the right path, you know, the right choices to begin to make. So in this case where she had discovered that this man did this, I feel, thank God that there are still people who can sell kidneys you know you can find kidney outside in different hospitals we can find another match um we are going to use that his money and start looking for new kidney for him but the one i have i'm going to take care of it so i'm going to so i would stay alive for my girls because 
if I die and leave my girls, three girls, at the end of the day, he's going to marry the other woman, bring her into the house, and my girls might end up becoming the house girls to this wife and her children. So for me to stay alive, for my children, I feel this is the height of wickedness for a man to, to marry a woman, keep her in the dark for years, and move on with his life with another mistress. Women are always at the receiving end. That's why I, I would say women are always at, at the receiving end. So if the woman is wise and she has something going on for her, she should just face that thing that is going on for her and her babies, her girls, and just, just let her just act as though she never saw the document and then maybe decide not to um, continue with the kidney donation or tell her doctor what she had come up with and let the doctor tell the man that, oh, sorry, your wife doesn't match anymore. Or confront him because I know confronting him will cause the death of the marriage. But it's important she confronted him because she can't deal with this heaviness in her heart for a very long time. So I'm going to leave the floor open for you to let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, subscribe, share. And um, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Watch other of our episodes on Hide My Identity, episode on the Christian Girl Vibe and other beautiful videos, informative, educational and sweet videos we have on this platform. I'm still Nalu Ifuma and until next time, stay safe, strong, know that Jesus is coming soon. Love you.